Hey guys, I'm Jay and this is Football Talk. Now I got something a little bit different for you guys. The NFL free agency this year has been one of the craziest things I've seen like in a very long time in the NFL. I know free agency is always like a hectic time, especially around around this around, you know, before the season starts. But this is I'm not I I believe this is on a different level. Maybe it's just because I'm seeing it more, I'm more like watching it, but it's it's crazy crazy so the first one i'm gonna jump into I, I i wrote i wrote a couple of them down but first one since i'm recording uh today on friday um aaron donald announced his retirement so first i like say one of the best not just at his position but just one of the best players in nfl history future hall i mean he's gonna be in the hall of fame there's no question about it uh it's just a matter of you know when when they're gonna put him in there but uh, it's gonna be sooner than rather than later trust me great career he did get that championship against my boy Joe Burrow but you know he he's a he's a different animal different animal like think about this this how this how good he is I saw a picture on Twitter there was two guys blocking him trying to block him and he still more than likely got to that to that whoever that player was probably the quarterback like he he's that you could put three guys they they slid a whole the whole offensive line the whole offense line knew exactly they had to know exactly where Aaron Donald, Aaron Donald was at all the time and he still was making plays happen tremendous talent it, man um but, uh i wonder i wonder what he's gonna do next you know whatever he does do next you know all support over here uh shout out aaron Donald once again amazing career all right secondly uh we got this one right here I'm not gonna lie to you this one scares me we got derrick henry going to the baltimore raven when i first saw this i had to take off my glasses wipe them off make sure i was looking at where i was like this hold on wait a minute hold on where my phone at let me I had turned up my brightness on my phone like i'm like serious let me tell you something <clears throat> we was already scared of Derrick Henry at Tennessee. Now he's with Lamar. They, they were, they've they been the running team. Now got Derrick Henry in the backfield with Lamar. It, it, it's it's going gonna, it's gonna to be scary. It's going to be a scary sight to behold. I just, it, it's just going to all come down to the playoff. You know, Lamar, uh, his first his first playoff win uh, last year, he, he, did, he did really well against, I want to say it was Houston, right? Pretty sure it was Houston or maybe, I think it was Houston, if I'm not mistaken. Um, he had a tremendous game, but... When it mattered most, AFC Championship game against Mahomes and the Chiefs, he he, he couldn't he didn't show up. You know what I mean? He didn't show up when it mattered. So it's gonna be interesting to see this year. Um, you know how how uh this running they're gonna be they're gonna be top. They're gonna be at least if they ain't top one, cause we already know what Cleveland brings to the table. Their running game. I think Chubb is gonna be back. He's gonna be healthy. Top top three top three running game. I'm calling it right now. That's, it's gonna be a top three running game right there. All right, next up this one right here. Like if you guys do not know i'm a big ken allen fan a really big ken allen fan. i feel like he's one of the most underrated and under talked about wide receivers in the game i mean his right running ability is second to none in my opinion is well it, it's a couple other guys that's up there but he's he's right there he's right there he's he's a slot guy really he does all his damage over the middle but i mean he it's no coverage that he hasn't seen before it's no coverage that can beat him you know it's only him pretty much but he's heading to the bears now i'm not gonna lie to you the Bears have been making some moves this offseason. I mean, they got a couple wide receivers. I can't think of their names off the top of my head. They got a couple pieces. Can't think of their name off the top of my head. But I think the biggest question is going to be the Justin Fields thing. I mean, a lot of people was like, he maybe he goes to the Falcons. And speaking of which, we're going to talk about that in, uh, in, a little, uh, in a little bit. But the Falcons end up then taking him. So, you know, Kate, uh, you know they got the number one pick, Caleb Williams. I mean, he's, he's, he's going to be a number one pick. So where where like what if they don't what if they stick with Justin Fields? That would be crazy. I don't think that will happen, but that would just be like that would be crazy. Cause Justin Fields, let's see, the only other teams he could go to. Who else is available really? The Giants. Um I'm trying to think. I know I know it's maybe a couple other teams, but right now on the Giants one. Mm, I don't know. I just don't know. You know what I mean? It's up in the air. The next one we got is Russell Wilson signing with the Steelers. I like it. I think it I think it's a it's good fresh 
fresh start for him. Um, you know, it'd be interesting to see. You know, I can't wait. Uh, you know, Kenny, uh, Kenny picking. He just went. Um, he got traded. I, I can't remember the team. I just saw it earlier a little bit a minute ago. I can't remember the team off the top of my head, but they traded him. Um, next up, this makes your boy sad. Not gonna lie to you. The Bengals cut Joe Mixon, one of my favorite players to watch. Man, I'm I'm, I'm gonna miss him. I'm gonna miss seeing him with Joe Burrow. I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss his. He got one of the best touchdown celebrations. Like his dance, top to every time I see it, it just make me wanna, you know, you know just look, 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 uh, look, uh, look, ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know. It just makes, I don't know. Makes, makes your boy feel good. You know what I mean? Next up, I'm not gonna lie to you. This right here might be one of the most shocking ones. Other than the Derrick Henry one that I talked about, Saquon going to the rival Eagle. Now, saw some backlash on this, of course, from, from the Giants fans, but your boy Saquon needed to get paid and he did exactly what he needed to do. So, can't fall a man for that. I mean, you can get upset, but don't get upset with him. Get upset with your front office. Get upset with the Giants. Get upset with them. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't do enough. They didn't value him like they should have. And that's just crazy. I mean, he was your only op. He, he, um, he was the offense. There's no if ands, buts about it. He was the off. So to let him walk, that's just crazy. And also, I put in this on Aaron Jones to the Vikings. Um, that's a set intro. I mean, he's going to the right to a rival too. Man, it's gonna be crazy not seeing Aaron Jones in the backfield with the Packers with the Green Bay uh, uniform on. For him and the Vikings, that's gonna be a good one. Cause you know you can catch out the backfield. Yeah, that that's that's I think that's gonna be a really, really good one. And then finally to end it out, as I said before about the Atlanta thing while I was talking about Justin Fields, we got Earth Two Chain Cousins going to the Atlanta foul. I'm not gonna lie to you, this one sucks for me too. Cause seeing him with Justin, with Justin Jefferson and them boys, it just made you feel good. You know, you just wanted to cheer for Kirk Cousins, you know. You like that? Yeah, I like that. You like that? Yeah, I like that. You know, it just and then with the two chain like come on now, it's just it's not gonna be the same, you know. But I'm happy for Kurt. Um, he's got some weapons, you know. Atlanta's got some weapons. Got it. Um, you got um, what's that dude's name? Mm, I can't think of his name. London, that London guy. He liked that. He he wanted them. He wanted them. So um, you know, Kurt, he's getting he's getting up near age, you know. Um, coming off of a was it ACL injury? If I'm not mistaken, coming off of that. So you know, um, Minnesota did what they had to do. But I think it's a really good pickup for Atlanta. Um, and maybe Kyle Pitts can turn into a lot people thought he would be um coming out of the draft uh, out of florida so we saw she because one thing about kurt he gonna throw that damn ball now but here's the thing you gotta protect him and that might be one of the biggest things and then you got deshaun uh not Deshaun, you got robinson out of the backfield i mean that's gonna be a hot those are highlight tapes waiting to happen you know what i mean my last my last video uh that was it my last one not my not my previous one but the juke one that i just posted yesterday dude he was like and and within the first minute i had like, I was like, what the hell, man? He had like, he was all over that. Like, if you haven't, if you guys have not checked that out, be sure to check that out on my channel right now if you want. If you like good juke, not good. If you like, like juke moves that make you go, nah, he got to go. Stop, stop, quit football. You out. Yeah, check that out. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.